वेलकम टू सेंटर ऑफ फॉर ऑनलाइन एजुकेशन उत्तर प्रदेश स्टूडेंट ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी दैट इज नोन एज रिसर्च मिसकंडक्ट जनरली इट इज बीइंग टॉक्ड वेरी लेस एंड डिस्कस्ड वेरी लेस बिकॉज मिसकंडक्ट इज वॉट मैक्सिमम रिसर्च यूज टू डू इन दियर रिसर्च वर्क सम वे और द अदर बट रिसर्च मिसकंडक्ट इज अ platform where we used to see that what are the misconduct which is being taken place in our research now let's explore that what is research misconduct research misconduct means fabrication falsification or plagiarism in proposing performing or reviewing research or in reporting research result okay so here research misconduct has been derived from the three area that is fabrication falsification or plagiarism and it is being taken into consideration while we are going to perform our research review our research or report the research result when we are conducting the result because as it is a misconduct activity this leads to a very harmful effect for the society as a whole let's understand that what is ffp in research misconduct ffp is highly talked about so let's explore the first f stands for fabrication fabrication is making up data or results and recording or reporting them whenever we used to make data on our own and utilizing that data for our research work we say that we are making fabrication in our research sometimes we have got 200 number of respondent but in actually we have got the only 180 150 responses so what we used to do is we used to make increase our data by 50 or 30 points that is known as the fabrication of the data it is not an ethical activity it is an unethical activity so fabrication is what which a person used to see that it should be avoided in his research work now falsification falsification is the manipulating research materials equipments or processes or changing or omitting data or results such that the research is not accurately represented in research report means here we are going to falsify the data means the data is not there but we are using that data for our study by omitting some data or changing some data process of the that data which with different equipments or not giving an accurate result is what falsification is all about so first f stands for fabrication and second f stands for falsification let's explore what p stands for p stands for plagiarism plagiarism is the appropriation of another person's ideas process result or words without giving appropriate credit whenever we used to take the others work in our research the help of others work in our research we must have to give proper credit to that person why because he is the person who has generated the idea who has innovated that idea and on that innovation on that generation of idea you are conducting your research work so a researcher must give proper credit to the person whose idea he is taking or on which he is working so whenever you are going to give proper credit to that person the work is not being counted in plagiarism if you are not giving the proper credit of that work to that person the works automatically comes into the category of plagiarism now research misconduct does not includes honest error or differences in opinion sometimes what happen a researcher has done his research in different area and your work is also in different area but sometimes the results are same or there is some errors which is being occur but a researcher doesn't know okay so when there is a difference in opinion means the result are difference and when there is honest error means a researcher doesn't know but the occur used to be happened it is not being counted 
in research misconduct. Now, what are the consequences of research misconduct? Research misconduct is not an ethical activity in research methodology. It has got a great consequences. The first consequences is preventable illness or the loss of human life due to misinformation in the literature or continued citing of refracted work. Means if you are not used to give the proper sources from where you are going to take the data or if you are not conducting a proper research, it may harm a life. Why? Because work should have an ethical base. You don't know that the, your work is very dangerous if it is in the area of scientific study. So, research misconduct must be avoided to prevent the life of human being. Results in wasted resources, both human and financial, when newer resources or work is based on previous flawed or fraudulent research. If you are taking an activity which is already being a fraudulent and you are conducting the study in the same area, automatically what you are doing is that you are wasting your resources, you are wasting your financial conditions, you are wasting your finances. So the area which must be selected have a proper usefulness for the development of the society as a whole. Now, damages the career of those who conduct research misconduct. As you know that there are different funding agencies who used to fund uh, the projects. So whenever a researcher used to think that he can copy from here and paste it over here or he can take the help of other and paste it. So these funding agencies have power which they can write letter to the appointing authorities and give the result of the career damages or they can be suspended, terminated from the job. So proper research should be done. Research should be done in a very ethical manner. Now, redundant publication. Redundant means what? It's of no use. So, redundant publication occurs when multiple papers are written without references in the text and share the same text data and result. Here, redundant publication means that you are taking the work and you are not citing the work. Means there is a multi -pap multiple paper written by that without giving the references. Without references, without text, the paper is of no use because there is no authentic base that from where you have taken the data, where you have taken the models, from where you have taken the theoretical aspect. So each and everything what you are writing, mentioning in your research work must have a proper references. So whenever a paper without references is being taken into consideration, it is of no use for a researcher or for the research field. It is being said as redundant publication, means it's a waste for the society. Now, salami slicing. It is an important terms which we used to talk. For example, when we conduct a study for our PhD work, research work, and from that data, we used to get three, four papers published by dividing the data into three, four parts. So whenever we slice that data and we write research paper, we used to say it is a salami slicing. Now let's understand that what is salami slicing. In essence, salami slicing refers to splitting of data derived from a single research idea into in multiple smaller publishable units or slices. Means whenever you are conducting a large study and from that large data, you are slicing the data into different parts you are taking small publishable data and you are publishing the research paper by that specific data, by that specific objective and hypothesis, we say it is a salami slicing process. Now, selective reporting. Selective reporting is also a misconduct which is being considered into our study because it is not an ethical activity. In selective reporting, develops when scientific study findings are intentionally not completely or accurately communicated in order to downplay unfavorable or unwanted consequences. Means here the scientific study findings are 
intentionally not completed means the research work is not being conducted in the manner it must be conducted. So, we are going to say it is a selective reporting means what we have to do, what we have to take, we have taken that and we kept, we left the things which are not taken into consideration. So, the things which is being left has its impact on the research which we have not have explored. So, here unintentionally things are making the result ineffective. A misinterpretation is misleading data of a substantial fact made by one party that influences the choice of the other party to sign an agreement. Sometimes we use to misrepresent the data, means the data which is being there is giving a different picture, but to show the other party that this is the picture we use to fabricate that data and give a misleading result. So, this meeting misleading results give a negative impact to the other party and can cause damage to the society as a whole. So, research misconduct is very bad in the present scenario. So, for a proper ethical research, one should avoid research misconducts and should do his work in an ethical manner. I hope you have understood. Thank you.